I am sure many of you have heard that I have accepted a job with Northwestern Energy. I have been proud to work with all of you, and I accept this new job only because it is a great chance for me personally. If I can be of assistance to you in my new position, please don't hesitate to ask. Can you help me with my power bill? I would like to leave all of you with this thought. There is no more noble work than public service. Caring for your community and neighbors is a calling of importance. Don't ever doubt that. When the heat is on, as it often is at FWP, remember people only care so much because of how successful you all have been at what you do. If there was no value or importance in our parks, wildlife, or wild places, then no one would care. When folks stop shouting, then you will know we have failed to preserve our Montana way of life. In the meantime, remember the advice of Michael Collins: Don't let the bastards get you down. You almost had me there with that inspirational beginning. But you screwed the pooch with the last sentence. Who are the bastards? Do they exist and where? Were they during the majority of my career? I never met enough of them to feel that they represented any threat to me, to FWP, or to Montana's resources. I do recall meeting thousands of sportsmen and women and children whose passion for our outdoor resources inspired me to do the best I could on their behalf every day. I recall family type squabbles between advocates of passions that always have been resolved for the benefit of all. Never, until this present administration, did I see FWP alienate landowners, hunters, and anglers in every proposal or project issued from the director's office. Never have I seen those people, for whom we have worked so hard, work to line up legislators to whip FWP back into line. You really don't think that, do you? From their standpoint, I suppose we deserve it. But our story deserves to be told. How we, as employees of FWP, the servants to Montana's hunters and anglers have been directed, ordered, commanded, to act in the interests of the administration, not in the interests of the bastards. How we, as an agency, have lost our best senior employees to transfer, resignation, and early retirement in order to escape the demoralizing descent into political self-interest. How we, as an agency, can see the slow and inexorable freight train of legislative anger rounding the curve into our careers. You can't believe that. We act in the best interests of the citizens of Montana. Even if they don't realize it yet. Bison, land acquisitions, redirection of funds, misdirection of mission, and the complete disregard for the interests of those who pay our bills are on the banquet table for the next legislative session. Do we deserve this feast of retribution? No, we do not. And those who should banquet with us in 2013 will be gone, the fortunate circumstances of their political appointment. They will take their share of the public pension, mark the last few years on their resume, and take another six-figure job with no regrets as to the destruction of morale and agency purpose they have left in their wake. But I haven't worked here long enough to collect a pension. And yet we stay, guided by the sense of purpose and mission, instilled into our souls by those who have served before us and, more importantly, inspired by those outdoorsmen and women we serve, the bastards. So, as I are ready myself for my workday, I look into the mirror, studying the man whose face I am about to shave, and I ask myself, do I deserve to? Consider myself one of those bastards?